Hi everyone, Tool70EHA19 here, and this video is going to be to unbox a product that is the beginning of the digital signal for basic cable. I have a friend in Quinsigamon, and his question to me is, is it still on the box? And from what I can say now, 12 years later, my answer to him is, yes, it's still on the box. <laughs> yes, it is. Now, everyone will remember, if you lived the time in the year 2009, Many cable companies were getting rid of the analog signal in every way. And from 2009 down to like the mid 80s, you can simply go to the store, buy a TV set, plug it into the electrical and coaxial cable, and right there you would have cable ready TV. Now, when this product came along, it marked the end of that era. And that's what we're going to be doing right now. We're going to take this and we are going to unbox it and see what we still have inside because at the end of 2009, they shipped this box to me and the box contains the adapter kit so that my then cable ready TV is able to receive the digital signal coming from this box. However, for me, I wasn't too interested in cable. I was very lazy to take this converter box and hook it up to a TV. And I was like, forget about it. Because at the time, at the end of uh, the year 2009, well, everybody had the internet, everybody had YouTube, and everybody started having these subscription services such as Hulu, for example, that you could just get in there and start watching stuff for free. That was way back then. Of course, right now it's a different time. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this product, we're going to unbox it, see what we have inside, shall we? We will. I'll be back. Before we do that, I thought we'd take a look around the box first and see what we have before we unbox the product. All right, so this is the front of the box. And we look at the sides of the box. We have our serial numbers. We look under the box. Oh, as you can tell, the box is dusty, by the way. That's another way that you know that I didn't even use this converter box. We have under the box. We have the other side of the box, which is clean. We have the very top of the box. And on the top of the box, oh, yeah, we got some interesting little mini instructions here going on on the top. So let's see what we have over here. Oh, yeah. We have some more instructions going on in the back of the box. Right. So now that we looked at the whole box, let's unbox what we have inside, shall we? Here's what we have inside the box. We have the easy setup guide, which, which we're not going in there. And let's see what this is. We have the little environment information pamphlet. What else we got in here? Ooh, we have instructions for the remote control. And yes, Comcast back then, they were starting to change to Xfinity because that's the cable company that we have here in this area. Does, any, does anybody remember this? Xfinity. I'm sure anybody will remember that. So we'll stick that to the side. This is the 12 year old remote control that we have here that anybody who had one of these adapters on their TVs will remember this. Let's see. Did stubborn old me stuck batteries in here? Let's see. Um, that's gonna be the very interesting question that everybody's gonna see on YouTube. And yes, stubborn old me stuck the batteries in there and surprisingly, Let's look at the batteries real quick. Ooh. Wow. 
Wow. Amazing. 12 year old batteries. And they never leaked. That's crazy. So we look inside the remote here. And the remote is as clean as a whistle. They could have leaked on me. And that could have been a very um, interesting part of the video. But wow. Surprisingly, this survived really good. So we're going to take this. We're going to shut it. Yeah, there we go. And we'll take these batteries. We're going to put them aside as well, too. Let's see what we got in here. We got the adapter for the adapter unit. We got the coaxial cable for the unit. And it's amazing how back then they started making coaxial cables. Very easy for, for people to screw onto the wall or onto the TV or whatever. They should have They should have had this method back in the 70s and 80s because everybody was a lot into cable back then. Now that we're seeing the age of the internet, the age of the information, you could only screw this where? Onto a cable modem. This cable would have been perfect. But anyways, that's going back. Setting that aside. And let's see what else. We got some other packaging information, which I'm not going to look in there. And we are going to go into the device itself here. So here we go. This is the little adapter device, as you can see right over here. The little adapter kit that towards the end of 2009... I'd say up until about nowadays, it can be able to make your TV cable ready, but in a digital way. And that's the, the little box right over here. This is the little box that um, I've had since the end of 2009, up until now, and I never used it. Look at the wrapper there on the top, on the front of the box, excuse me. Yeah, quite interesting. So yeah, this box is almost the size of the palm of my hand, and um, you have the you have the input and output coaxial uh, ports right there you have the adapter you have the let me see what is that you have the channel 3 4 selector the IR in in case if you need to uh, connect a little IR receiver which is really nice and then we, then we have the little port for the power adapter right there very nice very 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 nice and let's see do we have anything else inside the box? Yes, we do. We have we have what what looks like to be an an audio auxiliary cable. Or oh, I know what this is. This is for the this is for the IR receiver, the infrared receiver that we just talked about right now. Very nice. And do we have anything else inside the box? Uh, my brother from Consigamin would be very happy. All right. So with that said, let's put everything here in line. And let's see if we can end the video, shall we? Because I want to end the video and make this to be a nice presentation here. All right. There. Yeah. We'll make that nice and presentable right there. Really nice. So these people over at Xfinity, they'll be quite amazed once they, they get a nice ancient box that never was used. Only from a guy that was lazy to hook it up to his TV back then. You know, I mean, like I say, we had internet, we had the age of the internet, why did I need one of these? But my parents, they actually had um, digital adapters that were just a little bit bigger than this, but this certainly was mine. And the reason as to why I wanted to unbox this today was because of the fact that I just got a new plan yesterday, and the new plan is that um, I'm going to be paying... $65 and let me see $65.95 and the plan um, well talks about it's regarding the internet performance and then they also have a flex box 
And it's a box that um, you just connect it to the electrical, connect it to a TV, and they just put some Wi-Fi, and you could just stream on the box. So the box just streams information. That, that's what it does. Now, what you see right over here um, was, was from the plan that I had from 2006 up until yesterday. And this plan actually had um, the basic TV, and it had the internet. All that, you put it together, and, it, and um, currently... And up until today, I'm, I'm going to be paying the bill. And that was up until, um, let me see. I remember way back when I would pay about $52 when I started with this back in 2006. $52 was the bill. And then, of course, up until the very light of today, the bill that I have to pay now is $99.25. So, you know, I've stuck with this plan for nearly 16 years. So this box... Um, when the analog cable was going away to digital, of course, it came towards the end of 2009. And, you know, I mean, I was still paying my 52 to $53 or so on this plan. And, um, as you can see, the converter box never got used. So with this new plan that I'm going to be paying $65.95, it's going to be a plan that it's going to be a contract that the price will remain like that for two years. Yet the contract will be for one year, which is not bad. Not bad. I'm facing some times right now that I am unemployed. So I need to try to budget as much as I can. So with the plan that had this box, I'm glad that my mom and I we were talking about the cable bills and fees yesterday. And um, this is what led me to get the new plan yesterday. So when I get that streamer box, I'm going to see if I can... Hopefully, unbox it early enough and not wait 12 years just like I did now. What you see here in the video. This is 270 EHA 19. Simply saying, thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so by hitting the subscribe button. Um, also, hit the bell icon notification to get notified for future videos. And also, hit the like button or dislike button on what you think of this video. It's up to you. But if you hit the dislike button, you'll be wasting your time because nobody's gonna be seeing that anyways. Thank you, YouTube, appreciate that. And once again, this is 270 EHN19 simply saying, thank you for watching.